sharp. Are you for a minute? So this is the cleanser, or do you guys have a pre-cleanser? So this is what would be equal to a pre-cleanser. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And so the nice thing about this one is it is a massage medium. It's also a pre-cleanser. So you would use it as a first step cleanser. You can use it as a cleanser in and of itself. I know. There you go. Okay. So what we're doing is we're massaging it into the skin. You want to soften the skin. It really helps to lift dirt, debris, and spray, makeup, all of that. This helps to break the bonds of the makeup. And it also really preps the skin. It gives you a chance to get to know the client's skin. Mm -hmm. So we use the one-step cleansing oil or hydrophilic oil with grapeseed, as you can see, two very similar containers. This one actually now only comes in a 0.5 gallon. The reason that they have two still, though, is because one of them is primarily for retail. Mm -hmm. Just it's easier for clients to understand. So this is, uh, oh. Gotcha. Okay. So this would be good for massage, you said. Excellent for massage. And okay. you can use either of them. The main difference is a little bit more of the avocado oil this in the one-step one -step cleansing oil. Oh, okay. Because that increases the cleansing action. Can I take so, a sample of this? Of course. Absolutely. Yulia, you want sample too from the grape? I think I left one. Which one's the one-step cleansing? Is that up here? It's right there. Oh, it's that. Mm -hmm. One-step cleansing. So when we're going through the facial, we need to focus on features and benefits. So features would be ingredients and benefits would be what they do. So that way, when you have other lines that you're trying to determine, okay, well, this line has this. In that line, the one-step cleansing oil and the hydrophilic oil with grapeseed, they have safflower oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, which is a cleansing action, different ingredients, sweet almond oil, which is a skin softener, Bitter almond oil, which is an exfoliant. And remember, with all oils, you always have to have a carrier oil if you're going to be putting any pure essential oil extracts in. So the scent that you smell in here is properly buffered already. How much is a grapeseed oil um, the, for retail? How much is it approximately? Mm -hmm. oh, the price point, I, the price point. Well, shoots, I just came back to Susan. Uh, I think it's 22. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That would be your wholesale price. And then, for example, if you were to come down for a seminar or if you were to go on a webinar, you get 10% off of that as well. So that's nice. And then that price continues all the way through once you get your license and you become an esthetician. So they make it very accessible. How do we find out about like seminars and stuff after graduation? So the email that mm. you gave me is how they will send that to you. And you can either come down for seminars and webinars even before you graduate. So like if as a team you want to log on in two Mondays, you'll be able to have the synopsis of the seminar we had this last Monday. Oh, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. And it's from 9 to 10, so it's very easy to just... You just have to sign up in advance. So yeah. And is it at your location or is it? So I'll be doing it from the headquarters, okay. but you can just you know, okay. be here and log on cool. on your computer. Great. Okay. Did you get that? So when you add water to it, mm -hmm. exactly, it will emulsify. So you'll be able to see. Oh, yeah. Wow. It starts to really nice. Mm -hmm. It's so silky. I'm going to leave it on her chest for a little while. She's got a bit of foaminess of going on, so we want to soften that, and then we'll clean that and cleanse the chest as well. But right now, we're putting this mostly up the face. So, and remembering that she has the lashes, so we do need to be careful when we're removing it. You can get in there and really get that circulation going. How do we use the aloe vera peel? Ah, oh, that's question. my favorite. I'm a big fan. Of it. <laughs> so there are three main types of exfoliant categories okay. that we have. The bamboo cream peel is a manual exfoliant, so that's one where you're going to be doing like a scrub. Then there's the enzymatic ones, which that's where they eat the skin cells across the top of the surface, like pumpkin and papaya, things like that. Then you have the aloe vera, and the aloe vera is your chemical. 
So that is your alpha hydroxy. When you deal with alpha hydroxy, you typically have to neutralize. And so this one, you don't neutralize with anything but water and cleanser mm -hmm. together. You don't have a special serum or tonic or something. Okay. So it's very simple to neutralize. You just have to remember to neutralize it. Because after about two, three, four minutes on the skin, it's a little bit too much. You can really damage the skin because it's 23% lactic and malic acid. So you'd need it for like four, five minutes, depending on how you feel. I would start one minute. Oh, wow. And then yes. go from there. Some clients, I only do one minute as a pre exfoliation before microdermabrasion uh -huh. or dermaplaning. Some people, I'll do it for a full seven minutes. It just depends on where they're at. What about the just water? Mass? But it says on the bottle that you need it just, just with the water. Um, <clears throat> or the 4x4. Four four. That's the one we use today, Joe. I know. I know. Which is a different. And then you actually can apply it directly to the skin like this. I did use the ones that comes in already, so yeah. you're not going to see all of the makeup and dirt and debris coming off with it. But it really does help, especially with skin. You see how hers is pretty pinky around the nose area? It helps to drop inflammation and to clean the skin. Close your eyes. What's that? This is the cleansing milk. Which would not be good for oily skin, right? Right, unless you're going to thoroughly remove it and you're using it just to remove makeup or mm -hmm. to drop inflammation, then you would want to go after that with some sort of a gel cleanser Yeah. to degrease the skin. Now, as far as exfoliations go, because her skin is a little bit sensitive, so it's reactive, You'd want to choose accordingly, and she's using these Dermalogica Daily Micropoint, which has salicylic in it. It's a rice base powder that you mix with water. And she's also using the bamboo cream peel and the aloe. So there's a couple different products going on there when she exfoliates at home. Have you ever tried the pumpkin? Yeah. Um, I want to try it. No, you haven't tried it? Mm -mm. We didn't get it. It's so good. I got it. I didn't, but I did the class before the latest class I had. Yeah, the March ones. Okay. I think we should do the pumpkin. Um, at least leave me a little bit left in there if you all sample out the pumpkin, just because I'm going to need some for tonight. But uh, you are welcome to take some samples of it too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it on her because I want to do a micro exfoliation to prep her skin for the pumpkin enzyme peel. And the pumpkin enzyme that she's going to have on after this does not have chemicals in it. So some pumpkin ones on the market you'll notice have chemicals. It'll, they'll have alpha hydroxies of some sort. This one is purely enzymatic. So it's pumpkin enzyme, pumpkin puree, pumpkin ferment, like cinnamon leaf oil, cassia leaf oil, things like that that all work together to give you a really nice fall exfoliation. So what I'm doing right here is I'm working to decrease the skin with the grapefruit cleanser. And this cleanser bubbles up really nicely. Once you get enough water with it. So this would so be good for oily skin. Great for oily skin, great for yeah, pigmentation. Good, it smells wonderful. You yeah, go ahead and pass them around and then when they end up back over here we can set them back on the tray. How long have you worked with the company? Well, I've worked with their products longer than I've worked for them as their educator. In beauty school, we also learned on them. So I've been really familiar with them from way back when. But I started teaching for them and working in the clinic. I needed both. So that's why the teaching has been really, I'm glad to have that aspect of it. Yeah. And I'm not a good salesperson, so it's nice to be able to just talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> And if I didn't like it, I couldn't talk about it. So there you go. <laughs> okay. How is your skin feeling? Good. Okay. Typically, I would say do two cleanses, but ultimately, too, it's up to Miss Suzanne, you know, how she wants. You know, the... Yeah, we normally do two. That's our normal. Mm -hmm. And then I need your names again. Julia. Julia and... Chow. Chow? Serena. Serena. Serena, Chow. Tiffany. Katie. Katie. And... Jackie? Oh, Jackie. 
Kelsey. Kelsey. You should come I try not to look at you. Which of the toners do you suggest for oily skin? So for the oily skin, I like to take the tea tree prep lotion and mix it with the herbal toner. Okay. So you have like half and half or two thirds and one third. Mm -hmm. I just like that combination so much. It seems like a lot of your product, products are targeted for oily skin types. They can be. Doesn't it seem that? That most of their R targets are for that. Is that Arnica? Mm -hmm. Could you talk about Arnica? Yes. So I understand how to use that. Yes, sensitive absolutely. Sensitive skin would sometimes apply to me, so. Okay. And ozone is for calming down. It neutralizes exactly. any mask. Cool. I, when I had the pumpkin on, I was like, woo! Yeah. I put the anti-ozone on, perfect. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I will talk about Arnica. I am going to apply this onto her skin and just continue to manipulate it as you see as we're... Okay, I like that brush. Hold on. Oops, never mind. We don't like that one either. There we go. Same brush. It smells like... How long do you leave the pumpkin now? I walked outside my house with this on my face and all the kids outside go first. Probably like, what is wrong with her face? <laughs> so, you can leave it on for seven to ten minutes. Okay. And you can leave it on longer, mm -hmm. but in terms of activity of the enzymes, because it's in a gel base, you don't need to have any um, steam, mm -hmm. and it will stay active for the entire time that you have it on, seven nice. to ten minutes. So what she's going to feel is she's going to feel a little bit of spiciness. It's not going to necessarily be warm, mm -hmm. it will just be spicy, so she'll feel mm -hmm. the activity. I'm going to continue to manipulate it into her skin. One thing you can find is helpful is when your client says, oh, it's, you know, it, it burns, it burns. You can mm -hmm. say, oh, well, the spiciness will dissipate as I manipulate it into the skin. So you want to just keep working it in. You can use your fingertips. You don't have too many clients that day. If you have a lot of clients, you may want to save your skin and do gloves or just the brush. I think the brush feels really nice. But definitely use pressure. Continue to manipulate it. And that way you can also see how pinky the skin gets mm -hmm. as you're working it in. Yeah. Julia, well, how does it feel like? Like one to ten. Kind of, kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of what? Kind of scaring. It's like scary. I feel like it's heating. Okay. Like so between how one and five, one being not at all, five being unbearable. Where are you at in terms of the sensation? I trust this in, in fine. Like I would say like three. Like a three. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So the question was about the Arnica mask. So we're going to continue to manipulate this onto your skin. I'm not going anywhere. I will process it if you want to uh, experience the pumpkin. Yeah. What is this good for? Which, which so this skin? is great for hydrating the skin mm -hmm. and for pigmentation. It's an enzyme, so it's going to eat the dead skin cells mm -hmm. on the top of the skin. And so you're exfoliating and you're addressing pigmentation, so it's a brightener. Mm. Okay, so Arnica was the question. Arnica is an anti-inflammatory, it helps with bruising. It's actually a flower, an Arnica flower, and the one that they use is the Arnica Montana flower from Hungary. It's mixed with lavender, so lavender is a balancer. Sometimes people find that lavender can be calming if they're high energy. If someone's of low energy, you're gonna find that the arnica, or the um, lavender is, will bring your energy up to more of a balanced space. So they mix the arnica with the lavender because it helps to balance and normalize the skin. Mm -hmm. And arnica helps to prevent bruising, it helps to soothe the skin. It's great for after trauma. People who are going in for injections are often encouraged to take Arnica for a few days ahead of time. It's a little say, right? tiny the injection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that this one? Is it a mask? Yeah. So this is the pumpkin that we have on her right now. Yeah. Um, and then she was wondering about the Arnica mask mm -hmm. itself. So how long do you leave the Arnica mask on? You can leave that one on that one on overnight, okay. and you can also use it for off the body. We can do overnight. Mm -hmm. The arnica you can. Oh, nice. um, I would just test it on your skin yeah. for 20 to 30 minutes before you leave something on overnight. Yeah. The honey almond is also a great one for overnight, but again, you know, be cautious. Test yeah. it first. 
You said you worked mm -hmm. um, with lasers before. Mm -hmm. Did you ever yeah, work with like beading lasers? I didn't. I actually work in the marketing department for the Step to two weeks. Yeah, because I work at a dermatology office and we do beading and they get they complain a lot about the piercing for sure. Oh, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Just because, I mean, that means it's working, but it's, yeah. you know. Yeah. So this is a mummy mask. Julia got your Arnica oh, cool. cream sample. <laughs> and basically sensitive. I'm just using the same 4 by 4s that I was using to cleanse our face. You just wash them out really, really well. And they're, they have enough tenacity to be able to use them to mummy the face. So this is a good technique if you have a mask that dries and it's really difficult to get off. Mm -hmm. Or if it's the papaya enzyme which you got in your kits mm -hmm. and you need to keep it damp. So you would just mummy the mask then. Do you think we all can get the ones that didn't get the CD? Do you think we could get a CD? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to work on getting all this stuff taken care of for you. Yeah. I am so sorry. Like, this is, I'm really glad that, that they have me coming because then I can kind of yeah. vet out what's missing and yeah. what y'all need. And it's, um, yeah, because there's no direction and going online because it's a professional line, a lot of things mm -hmm. don't have a direction, mm -hmm. which is understandable. And it's just confusing to like, Oh, yeah, understand. You need to... I was actually going to call you, call like Dr. Schwab, mm -hmm. be like, hey, can I get some direction? That's nice, so, so you can get the CD. Absolutely, Thanks. absolutely, we'll get that for you. Do we have um, hot towels in here? Or... We made hot towels for you. Yay! How many can I get? One right now would be lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. So what happened to everybody? I know, I don't know. Yeah. Graduate to California. Yeah, like eight, seven, half a day. seven and a half days from now. Yeah. I mean, eight days. Ah. Yes. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. So happy. <laughs> Get on the She's doing her graduation dance. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, are you taking the pictures and videos? Of you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Suzanne, yes, we did the pumpkin on her. You did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's very she predict sensations, very predictably <laughs> very five. pink, which is what oh, we, we wanted five. to bring up, was a lot of the pinkiness to Ooh, get, so the, it's okay, right? get the activity. You are her little. <laughs> yeah. little but pinky. Pinkish. But we don't, you know, we embrace our females. Mm -hmm. We good. embrace your females. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, the girls and I were just talking about using this time between what I'm here next to kind of vet out what I need to fix in, in the, the pumpkin that we just used. I the one you do have to neutralize, though, is the <laughs> aloe vera. Aloe vera. Okay. So you got the pumpkin in your kit? Yeah. I feel like it, this one is more intense than aloe vera. Oh, yeah. Tammy, you I put your wet towels in here. Tammy. All right, so why are you doing this? Oh, it's really hot. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah, it's my star. I'm gonna post something. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, Serena. Do you know roughly what the um, pumpkin would go for if they're cooked for us? Mm -hmm. I, I won't hold you to a number, just like rough. 40 ish? 30 ish? 40 ish? I like that. I'm like the second one. <laughs> oh, that feels great. Which one is that? The um, eye intensive moist. Mm -hmm. this is so, this is the flawless brightening serum. We're going to put it under the mask. So, it's happening to the How much mm -hmm. that you use? Like one teaspoon? So, when you use it in real life, you're going to use one pump. So, one. because I like to do more during the demos, I used three. Okay. <laughs> This is just fun to make them feel very, very pampered. Uh, remember the Falls Brightening Serum can be used as a booster serum, so either by itself or with the Ginkasome. Uh, the Citrusome is also an option for nighttime. I'm not going to put it on her right now, the Citrusome, because um, her skin's going to, the activity of it's going to be a little bit too much. <laughs> the Arnica, please. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. So we'll use a little bit of the gink. So don't remember that. Ooh. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how we use the long stuff. Okay, the long stuff. Yeah. So 
this is the one step cleansing oil or the the ginseng, ginseng. right so as you all are familiar there are three different looks of products right so this is from the ambrosia line which is more aromatherapeutic mm -hmm. a bit more body treatments very much harnessing that like aromatherapeutic benefit from the botanicals mm -hmm. and then combining them for wellness benefits so that one is what are they call it on the bottom? Okay, they're calling it a revitalizing, regenerating mask. So because of the green tea in it, that's what gives it the regenerating aspect because you want to regenerate, which is the next generation, how healthy the skin cells are for the reproduction. So an ideal skin type for a client for this would be someone who what? Somebody that <coughs> excuse me, is very anti-aging. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody who may or may not have Sensitive skin. Right? Sensitive skin. Okay. It does it, or weak skin. I'm going to put some arnica with it. Yay. So we could mix the arnica. And Absolutely. Then. We leave that on overnight then? I oh, wouldn't. It smells so good. I wouldn't leave the green tea ginseng on overnight. Okay, so no. It's then probably we'll going to dry it out a lot, even if you're as well. Okay. So I guess there's five. Absolutely. And that's a great one too, in terms of just keeping the skin clean, bringing it into balance. You can use it as an activator for the acid, in the, or not the acid, sorry, for the enzyme. Mm -hmm. Now we had a woman who was like allergic to everything. So the medical products, mm -hmm. and they were that to have botanicals like this that I can, I can use to kind of restore the skin. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic, and then to use it in back bar because everything smells for the most part. So the controlling mask, that's pretty strong. Yeah. But for the most part, everything smells really good. Yeah. And so the clients Soothing. are like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like, oh, that smells wonderful. Even like you know, rough knees, where you get like the baggy knees when you get older. Girls don't know about that yet, but when you get older, probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will. a little bit of the cell renewal day and I'm going to mix it with mm -hmm. what can uh, what is that good for the cell renewal day mm -hmm. so this is for younger skin usually mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. and then I'm adding to it the flawless tint in light which may be a little bit light for her, but it's a mm -hmm. sheer coverage with the idea that we're going to get the grape stem cells, which help with cellular regeneration and give her a little bit of an environmental protection. And then she can put sunscreen on if she wants mm -hmm. about this, but this is about a 20. Okay. And then um, going back to the seaweed mask, mm -hmm. so I know you can use it for between now and the next time I'm here. That will give you the answers in terms okay. of how to use the product. She's got that already here. Yeah. We just have to get something nicer that comes with the. What kind of skin does she have? Uh, she has like my skin, mm -hmm. but uh, with acne. So you'll she probably want. Thank you. Uh, I'm thinking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would we be shocked at? Or like, I I definitely definitely like the first cleans. Mm -hmm. Which was the one step, right? Okay. It has a very nice smell and uh, it, it feels like a preference. It does, but less oily, right? But it has a, like a better smell and uh, I, I like it, I would get one. And pup, pumpkin thing, I, uh, if it, it wouldn't be you uh, <laughs> or some of a other girls, I would, be, yeah, I would be a little bit scared maybe because it's, uh, it's very intense. Yeah. yeah skin looks what about awesome. anti adding anti-ozone to it? Couldn't you have done that if she said, hey, we're out of work? Yeah, then I would have removed it and then done the anti-ozone. I well, like my it. mistake was I put it on top of. Mm. And that's okay. It just isn't as effective okay. because the gel of the pumpkin is going to get in the way of the efficacy of the anti-ozone. Some things you can mix it directly in. Mm -hmm. Some things it doesn't. And that's one example where it, I don't like to mix it in it. I like to remove and then put it on. Okay. But then keep it down because you know anti ozone dries. Yeah. And so is if the skin is irritated, it's, it's not a it's a powder. Oh, how do you use it? I never used it before. So it's a powder that you would mix. <clears throat> Water, just mm -hmm. like um, like opium. 
So you would just mix it up like this, mm -hmm. and then you would apply it onto the skin, mm. and then it would dry onto the skin, or you can keep.